Okay, so we're going to be looking at advanced resistance training systems today. And the first one we're going to cover is a agonist to antagonist superset. Now, traditionally this exercise can be used for a variety of outcomes. It could be an endurance exercise, a hypertrophy exercise, or a strength training exercise. We're going to perform one exercise using the barbells, so a barbell bench press. And then we're going to do the opposite movement on a cable machine where we can train the back muscles as well. Before doing it, the key thing to do is to explain to your client the setup of the exercises and the training system. So Simon, this first exercise that we're going to do is a bench press. The main working muscle is going to be the chest and the assisting muscle is going to be the triceps and the front of the shoulder. From here, we're going to perform a couple of reps, check the technique, then move over to the cable exercise with minimal to no rest and we're going to work on an exercise that's going to highlight our back muscles, so lats, traps, and the synergist is going to be the biceps, and the fixator will be the shoulders. Cool. So the first exercise, I put myself down onto the bench, centralise the bar, take a closed hand grip on the bar, we'll lift that bar up and over the middle of your chest, from here, you'll lower the bar down so just about an inch above the chest and then drive that bar straight back up into the air. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up and we'll look at about three or four reps in your warm-up set. And we'll rack the bar safely and then it's about a quick transition into the second exercise. You'll sit down into the cable machine, have your feet quite wide, Push your feet back a touch, take some tension, get a neutral spine, and then from here, breathe in, squeeze those shoulder blades and elbows together, and then blow out as the weights go forward. If you can't maintain a stable core, then you can adapt the breathing as you see fit. Once you complete the desired number of reps, we'll then start your rest period after that second exercise. Is that okay now? Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see how you move on this. I know you've done the exercise before. So I'll get into the spot position. You get yourself set up on the bench. So a nice strong base of support. Feet pressed down onto the bench. Oh, it's just below the line of the bars and a nice equal hand grip. Okay. I'll spot the bar into position with you. So We'll say three, two, one, lift. Bars over the middle of the chest. You got that right side? Got it, my right. Okay, mate, we're just going to release and follow. That's lovely. And then up, lovely squeeze, well done. Breathe in, lovely. And out there, nice stable torso. Well done. We'll do one more. Excellent stuff. Keep your hands on the bar to the table. That's my bar, release the bar. Up nice and quick, over to the cable machine. Spread your legs as you go down into position. Hinge from the hips as you grab those, well done. Lengthen the legs a bit. Push that chest up, roll those shoulders down like so. Lovely, squeeze into that position there. Good, we can see both shoulder blades trapping in together and the body not moving at all. That torso staying nice and still. That's even better and we'll just see one more rep like so. Lovely stuff and then hinge from the hips, widen the legs as you go forwards. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with a bit more of a working weight. So sorry, we're working around about 10 repetitions. Okay. So we won't go too heavy in the first set. What we'll do is if we take the if you use safe lifting technique, grab the 15 from the bottom. We'll put the 15 up, we'll put collars on either end of the bar. There's one for your buddy. One for me. We'll keep the cable pretty much where it is. Okay. We'll keep that torso nice and still, so no arching through the lower one. And then we've got 50 kilo weight here. Now, we're going to do 10 reps, about 2 seconds down, 2 seconds up, okay. and then after that second exercise, we're going to have 60 seconds rest. So we're clearly training for hypertrophy now. Okay, fine. Any questions about the exercise? None at all. All right, right, let's get into position, buddy. I'll spot the first rep fully. I won't touch the bar, I'll just follow it. And then, provided everything's going well, I will just stand back. You can count me in, because you're working. 3, 2, 1. Up. My bar. That's your bar, mate. Down and up. And watch one more. Down and up. That's two. Well done. Nice speed. Six. Keep it steady. Well done. Nine. This is 
One more in there. Good. Keep your hands on that far side. Okay, now quick transition over. I'm going to come around to the side to get a bit of teaching angle. Good. We're going to keep those out. Pulled in, those shoulders rolled down. That's it, and just to there. Perfect. So good. No rocking through that lower back. Well done. Good stuff, just look a little bit higher up. Last two, nice speed. Well done, one more. Fantastic, widen the legs, and the stopwatch is coming on for your minutes rest. So at this point, Simon, it's good to say, great technique on both exercises. How did you find that weight? Was it heavy enough over here? Was it heavy enough over there? Was it too heavy? Over 10 reps, they're about correct. Yeah, they're about <coughs> correct, okay. If anything did change, and you said to me, I need to, I need to go a little bit heavier on here, we may not have done so, okay. and I was there. There's not much technically that's going wrong. We've all got imperfections. Keep those abs nice and tight on that cable row, and that head nice and still. You can help yourself to some water should you need it, and we've got another 30 seconds until we go again. Excellent. All right, we'll get going.